Yo, man, I'm super excited. Today, we are actually gonna be visiting one of my newest properties in Philadelphia. And the dopest part about it is that one of my mentees is actually gonna be running it, yo. Find a mentor who will do business with you, not just show you the business, yo. I'm super excited. I'm gonna bring you along the whole entire journey. I'm gonna be breaking down all the game that I'm giving her to turn that space into $50,000 in a month. Y'all already know how we do it. Let's get it, let's go. Ice move. Yo, you already know we gotta hydrate up real quick. It's about to be a two, two and a half hour drive to Philly. Um, but you know, gotta get that girl one, gotta get them calories, you gotta get big, you feel me? Gotta get rich and fit. Now I can't even say rich and fit. Shout out my guy Will, shout out my guy Timmy, rich and fit in Atlanta. Y'all already know how we going, man. But I'm super excited. This is gonna be dope. Gotta get some grub for the fam, and then we on our way. Let's get it. Hi yo, starting head out. Now who the fuck's recording me? Put the cameras down, I'd like a moment to myself Because it's time to spit my story, G I'm kinda clever done, impractical, but never wrong And if they understand it, then you notice that there's more to me I'm oversensitive, emotional, competitive, approachable Consecutively repping as I roll as a gun overall I bet they say I'm old a bit more when I get to hold the ball Court is over You good? Uh -huh. Let me, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh Yo, it's a kid, Billionaire B. Just touched down in Philadelphia in a brand new event space. And guess who's gonna be running it? My student, Kayla Griffin. Yo, how old are you, is my boy? Yo, 23. 23 year old entrepreneur running the space. And I feel like that's so dope because I saw it when I was 23. Yo, y'all gonna see firsthand first how we run the space up to $50,000 a month. Man, what you gotta say to people, bro? Yo, Encore Events, new event space in Philly. Book with us right now to catch that early bird special because when we open, price going way up. You let's dig? Get let's get it, let's go. Yo, and literally, I would say in this space right here is probably gonna be open up in about two weeks. Yeah. And then once we do, I wanna say twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars in revenue. We're gonna be open up the next side. We're gonna be laying the floors today, uh, doing a couple of finishing products, a couple of finishing works. Then once the rentals drop, it's a wrap. Everybody knows the rentals where the money comes in. We picking up the rentals this weekend, and from that point on, it's a wrap. So yeah. yo, I'm letting y'all know right now, newest space coming up in Philly is gonna be absolutely crazy. Y'all yep. don't even know, we ready. When that sign come up, when the rentals drop, different. So it's like, boom, somebody walking through the door, right? Yo, what's going on, y'all? My name is Brian, this is Kayla, this is Encore Events. Yo, we got the champagne room right here, Moscato room right here. Oh, you're interested in the champagne room? Beautiful, 2,400 square feet. We got the bathrooms right over there. We got the storage right over here. You can put your beautiful backdrop focal point right there, king and queen right there. We got the throwing chairs for you. We got the marquees for you. We got the balloon garland for you. Oh, you got any packages? Of course we got the packages. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. We got the deluxe package. We got the queen pack. This boom, 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 just like that. Oh, how much is the deposit? It's only $500 to deposit. Positive, boom, get the contract, wow, booking, simple, just like, just like that. that. Honestly, when it comes to selling, you don't even gotta talk too much. Yeah. The, some, real talk, somebody comes into a space, I'm backing off. Somebody comes into the spot, it was going on, my name's Kayla. Oh, there's Encore events. Okay, cool, yeah, just, you know, y'all take a look around, let me know if you need anything. Boom, yeah. they're looking around, boom, boom, boom. I'm coming back. What y'all, y'all got any questions? Oh yeah, you know, how much is it? Of course you told them the price, boom, boom, boom. Oh, y'all got any packages? Honestly, a lot of times people are gonna see the packages online, they're gonna ask about it. Right. People are gonna come in, boom. This is a documentary, right? <laughs> this is a documentary. Somebody gonna come in, boom, got the packages right here, boom, boom, boom. Got the tables and chairs, boom, boom, boom. Got the beverage cooler, got the this, got the that, got the, you know what I'm saying? And this, yep. the space just sells itself. You don't even gotta sell it that hard. For sure. Me, if I gotta drag you in, I gotta drag you around. I ain't trying to do all that. You Respectfully, you feel me? You think we should do like a kitchenette, like right here? So this is, that right there is plumbing for a sink. Mm -hmm. Um. Kitchenette, can build a kitchenette, absolutely. Pull this, could pull this out. Cause this used to be a deli, right? Yeah. Could pull this out, could definitely make this a little kitchenette situation, yeah. Yeah, cabinets up top. We could, we can cut, we can Counting frame top. this off right here. So we can like literally have just the sheet rock, whoo, door, somebody comes in, this is the bar right here. Yeah. Food, well, oh, that's an emergency exit, so can't do that. Could have the door right here. Wide open door, somebody comes in. Mm, I'm trying to see how that's gonna work. This would be the bar, that could be food, that could be food. Um, do I really wanna do that? What you think about over here? Maybe we could frame it out right here. Just like that, that's the boiler room. I'm trying to see, cause kitchen, kitchenette in this bigger space would be valid. Yeah. But do we want to do a kitchenette in both spaces? The other side? Mm. They got a sink right there in the other side. On the other side, yeah. And I know 
it's gonna have a little it's gonna have kitchenette amenities it may not be a separate room but we definitely gonna have the kitchenette amenities one two three four five six six and a half i mean with the sink right there hold on yo where you at okay i'm coming get, i'm coming get you all right Mr. Success has receipts. My hands are dirty as hell. Thank you. How you living, my boy? Good. There's my girl Kayla right here. She gonna be running the operations over here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And the famous Caitlin. It's a pleasure nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yo, this is my guy, Haitian CEO. You already know what it is. Mr. Success has receipts. Mr. Audit Your Circle. They got me outside. I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta big up my mentor. I gotta big up my friend tour. I gotta big up my guy right here. Can I give you a little quick little tour? Talk okay. to me, Yo. Me. That's what I'm here for, bro. I Yo, see it. so check this out. This we just got this in April last year. All right. Uh so we this is the building, right? Yeah. We got the parking lot, and then you see that second lot with all the cars, that's ours too. So that's what I was telling you. Okay. So it's a pretty good situation. They, they're running the lot for me? No, this separate dude, he has like a car shop. We're about to get him out though, to be honest, because okay, okay. we're, we're about to bump that up. How about the vet out? Okay, that's how we coming? Yeah. You got the vet? You yeah, know, about the just, vet just upgrade to the Cullinan, bro. What you mean? Yeah. Just I, gotta, to... I gotta get my weight up. Yeah, you know what I'm I gotta saying? get my weight up. I gotta get my weight up too, bro. We gotta both weight. move to Atlanta, bro. 100%. 100%. Y'all got it in my head now, bro. Bro, honestly, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm 100%. like trying to make something shake right quick. You feel me? So this is a side that we started already. This is a side that we started already. Oh, my fault. We put some work in. Um, nothing too much. We painted it, put a couple of the glass oh, lights in. Got to get the HVAC operational. Uh, we're about to put some new LVT tile down. So this one's going to be up and running, ready for events in like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. You guys are blitzing. Because the thing about it is that, like, what we do, what I'm big on when it comes to space is that we do a minimum viable product. Yeah. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll throw their last into a space and then hope that they get their money back. Throw paint on the wall, see if it sticks, right? We don't do that. We come in, do a minimum viable product, have the market tell, tell us what works. What works. And yeah. then we take those client deposits and we put it back in our space. Boom. You see what I'm saying? That's what I've Boom. done for all my spaces and that's what I'm gonna continue to do and teach my students. So we're doing the same thing here, right? We got the sink over there. Uh, it's gonna be a mini kitchenette over there. There's gonna be a stage right here. Okay. Uh, with like, you know, the king queen chair, whatever the case may be. Right. Bathroom right over there, DJ area over there. So this one, like I mentioned, this one's gonna be operational oh, week, two weeks. What do you wanna rent this out for? Like pricing for, wise? Yeah, for event. Um, probably some on the lower end, maybe like 800 to 1,000, something okay. like that. But that's really not, the money's really in the packages. Okay. The money's really in the packages, right? So we have uh, about 100 clear chair of our chairs and some tables and a bar coming out of New York into here. And then uh, I'm gonna be sponsoring a new sign as okay. well as about maybe three, $4,000 budget in rentals. Okay. So that's really where the money's gonna come from because it's gonna be like, it's gonna be set up like a no brainer offer, right? Yeah, you can get $1,000 and just get the space or for 2,500, you can get the fully space, fully decorated out. You see what I'm saying? And that's really where the money comes from. That's brilliant. That's, that's how brilliant. it has to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's exactly that's what brilliant. we do in New York. They're not so. talking about that, bro. Huh? They're not talking about the packages, man. No, nah, not at all. Yeah, not at all. That's where the money comes from, yeah, per yeah, se. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's my mom. Mom, this is my guy, Herman. Hello, young lady. Hi, how are you? My name is Herman. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, so that's really where the play is coming from. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you the next side. All right? But wait, there's more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had to tee up, bro. If I'm going to, you know, you know we're going to cop something, we're going to cop something yeah. correct. So this is the next side. We haven't really done much work on this side, um, except get the water in. You see, we, we tossed the old water tank. We put a brand new water tank in. But even this one, so the play with this one, we're going to be doing, uh, we got to level the floor. Yeah. Once we level the floor, we'll probably drop the same LVT. Um, and then what me and Kayla are like, looking at right now is how to kind of frame the kitchenette. Mm -hmm. So what we might do, so this is definitely coming out. Right. Yeah, this is this is getting pulled out. Even the drop ceiling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop All ceiling right. is easy to work with, bro. People who sleep on drop ceilings, like okay. when anybody who sleeps on drop ceilings, because like it's very easy to get work done. Mm -hmm. I gotta get HVAC done, I gotta get lighting done. In I got out. In yeah. and out, right? You just pop a, pop a tile yeah. and make it happen, make it shake. This is gonna get uh, pulled out 
Oh, this was a, some type of kitchen. This was a deli. Oh, yeah, there's a poppy store. Yeah, this yeah, is a poppy tell. store. Yeah, y'all call it a poppy we store, right? We call it a bodega. Yeah. Bodega, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So right now, what me and Kayla are going through is like, all right, cool. How are we going to situate the kitchenette, right? Right. So we're looking at this, but my thing is this is an emergency exit, so it's got to make sense, right? We mm -hmm. can't block that side. Right. So this is six and a half feet. That's six and a half feet. So it's like, what might happen? We'll frame this door right here. This is going to be the bar situation. And then here and there is where we're going to have the food set up. Okay. Type thing, you know it's what I'm saying? It's not going to mess with code in for emergency exits or anything like that? So that's what I have to weigh in my mind, which is why I'm I might be having to shift things around. You have a, but, permit, you have a permit person in Philly? I know, I know, I know a person, yeah. Okay, cool. But I mean, honestly, we're not going to be doing anything invasive, so I'm probably not going to. Got you. Saying. But I do got know you, somebody if it need be, but yeah, yeah, yeah. probably because we're doing a lot of quote unquote cosmetic work. I'm not, cosmetic work. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, nothing that's going to affect the blueprint of a property. Right. Right. Bars is not a thing. Putting mini bars is not a thing for your event spaces or just kitchenettes is what you focus on. So the kitchenette is going to have a bar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Cool. It's going to have a bar. We don't serve right. liquor though. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. Just a but bar it's just space. like a bar to like yeah, host yeah. it. Yeah, you know what got I'm saying? You. We always put that on our clientele. Like, hey, look, listen, you want to serve or sell alcohol, you got to get your own permit. It's part of got our you. contract. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, get your that's. Policies and stuff. Yeah, like that. exactly. That's standard. So bathroom right here. Yeah. What's back there? So Storage. this is actually a lot of storage space right here. There's not much light. There's, there's, oh. a, there's a bathroom right here? Oh, yeah, in here. Yeah, I almost forgot. So there's a bathroom right here. here and and there's a ton of storage space right oh, here. Oh, snap. Ton Whoa. of storage space. So you could put all the, um, the all chairs. All the rentals, yeah. All the chairs and stuff back here. Yeah. And lock it up. Yeah, that's that's basically, yeah. What's this? It's empty. So this is this is used to be a freezer. So if you look in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a cooler. We taking this out? Most likely. Yeah, I, I haven't like I haven't really sized it up in terms of knocking shit down and seeing what it kinda happens, but essentially that's we if could you, do that. If you knock this down, then it'll be for the storage space. Not this whole thing would be a storage, storage space. Storage space. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. why uh, it's such a good situation. Yeah. Because we keep all the rentals in here right for here. both sides. Like, bro, like Killer. everything's right there. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's beautiful. Good. Just putting grass on it, but I was just like, all right, that, that oh. might be extra. Like just do the hedge from Amazon. Yeah. I was thinking about doing that too. That could look nice. The grass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, I was thinking about doing that, but. Uh, yeah, you could just get a staple gun. Put the, yeah. You know, you could get a box out from Amazon for like 100 bucks. That's it. That that would be cute, actually. That would, you could try that. I'll leave it up to you. Leave leave, okay. leave it up to you. You know what I'm saying? Get creative with that. Um, I hate these lights. These puck lights. I'm not gonna lie. But it was just so hard. Like we went to like six stores trying to find lighting. And like yeah. everybody had like one or two. Like they didn't have a whole set. It was just so annoying. Yeah. Um, but that was that. Um, what else we got? So so yeah, get the LLC so you can go get a business bank account. You think you think I should do like a base coat like on the ceiling so it could be just one color? Like paint the ceiling? You yeah. the, the ceiling? You like, can't paint the ceiling. Spray it, just spray it. You can spray it. You could spray it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Talk, yeah. I'd leave it. You know? If you, yeah, if, if for that, I would just change all of the ceiling tiles yeah. and just yeah. put fresh ceiling tiles. You could do that if you want. Because what happens is that you know, someone has a stain and then there's something in the bunker. Right. Yeah. Those definitely would change out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But most of them are good, though. Most of them are good. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are good. Yeah. Um, I would get the HVAC serviced before I do before I finish that, though. Um. It's like a lot, I know. No, no, no. It's a lot of little things, but it'll make sense. You're like while we're here, you're you know, we're looking at it, we're noticing it. Yeah. Um But yeah. So like step by step, like if I if I was like to start like today, mm -hmm. definitely get the HVAC, get that up and running. Once the yeah. HVAC's up and running, could do the ceiling, while that the floor is being done as well. Um, put the garbage on the other side. Mm -hmm. Um, pa 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 touch up once all that stuff's done, little touch-ups, little touch-ups, put the molding. Once the floor yeah. is done, the molding could go down. Yeah. Touch-ups, clean, open for business. Open for business. Yep. You feel me? That's it. We coming. That's it. We coming. Respectfully. Um, I have, in terms of stuff, I have to do. So I got to hook you up with Bianca to do the acuity link. Yeah. Um, do me a favor, get the measurements of, let's take a look at that now, actually because we're gonna have to get measurements for the sign. So we're gonna do around here. Not gonna do the other side. We'll, we'll just do this front side. Okay. 
It looked like 10 by like 10 by five. What this or the whole thing? Yeah, th this one. Yeah, this is this is about 10 by five, but okay. we got we would because we would do for these this whole thing right here. Okay. So like in the middle, it would be like encore events and then it'd be like baby showers, weddings, kids parties, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Like, you right. know, things. And then like big ass phone number. Like yeah. this whole side would just be phone number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's another thing too. We need a phone number. We gonna get, uh, yeah. we gotta get the dial pad. Yeah. We gonna get the dial pad. We gonna get a 1-800 number. Actually, do we wanna do the 1-800 number? Uh, the area code out here is what, 215? Yeah. We could do a 215 number. Okay. We could do a 215 number. We gotta get the measurement for this whole thing though. Yeah, so we gotta get the measurement. Then we'll sketch something out on Canva so they could blow it up on a sign and make some fire shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get me those measurements. Okay. And then we'll sketch something out on Canva uh, and we'll start doing that. But the rental order going up ASAP. Yeah. ASAP. Because once that touched down, niggas know we here. Yeah. We here, all that shit getting recorded, all the furniture coming in. And especially when people see the furniture, that's when they be like, okay, yeah, it's an event hall. Yeah. Oh yeah, right now it just look like open space, but oh yeah, it's an event hall, respectfully. Yeah. Um, what else? And when I that guess, sign come in? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy for sure. Uh, I think that's about it for most of it. Uh, what is this? Is this tape? Apparently, I'm trash for that. Whoop, whoop. Um, I was gonna say, should we repaint that graffiti? Honestly, if you have, if you have time, if you want to do it. You sure. want to leave it? Huh? You want to leave it? I wouldn't want to leave it right. ideally, but yeah. I mean like. On the other side, somebody uh, put some graffiti on the other side. On the good, the good thing is that it's not on the front at least. Yeah. Bro, before I, I repainted this whole building, bro. Before that, there was mad graffiti on this shit, bro. Mad graffiti. I'm gonna get the security cameras up here. They ain't doing that no more. Yeah. Oh, they still would. Yeah. Yeah, they still would. They don't care. They'll spray the freaking camera. They'll spray the whole freaking camera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna see. Uh, once we get the fence, though, the fence is gonna obliterate a lot of that. And then we, that, that's when it looks official, you know what I'm saying? But then they might do it on the fence, who knows? But once there's more active people around more, things like that, people will be a lot less leery. Right now it's just like, people don't really see what's going on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it, it's part of the game, it's part of the game. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say like, anybody who thinks they go and get to businesses and problems just stop, cap. You just need a way to d deal with the problems. Yeah. That's it, like, for the courses, we get chargebacks all the time. It is what it is. We gotta submit it and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Yo, I think that's about it. No cap, no kizzy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Encore man, we events, book with us right now to catch that early bird special, because when we open, Price going way up. Price Let's going way it. up, y'all, man. It's a kid, Billionaire B, man. I'm super excited, yo. We got a brand new event space coming up in the Philadelphia, and I'm gonna literally take y'all on the journey when we do our first $20,000 a month, $25,000 a month, $50,000 a month, all the way up to maybe even $100,000. Who knows? Yep. I know. I, I'm capping with y'all. I know. It's gonna happen eventually, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But, yo, I'm literally showing y'all this real life. This ain't no cap. People out here talking about things they don't know. We really do this, yo. We really do this. Y'all show, we, we show y'all, we cop the building, we gonna renovate the building. We're gonna blow the building up. The building gonna make a hundred thousand, make a million. Let's get it. Let's go. Y'all already know what it is.